Alright boys and girls and welcome to Gordon Guitar. We have a beautiful song here from Jay Wheeler and Zamira Zambrano called The Cello or something like that. It's in Spanish and I'm not even sure if I pronounce this only word correct. That's how far I came with my Spanish language. Anyway, I think that means tell him or so. Uh, beautiful song it's based upon chords but we will not go over the chords like we usually do because this is uh, just a picking pattern based song so um, of course it's based upon different chords like the e minor c g and an f sharp thing going on there that's the chord progression but let's start with the capo set on the third fret that is what we need so we will look at uh, this. I, I took down this in a very slow tempo to really um, nail all the notes here. And in a standard tempo, it goes pretty fast. So I understand it's hard to get all the notes right uh, in that fast tempo. But as um, if you do as good as you can and stick close to these notes and these patterns, it will be good enough. So close enough is good enough in this case. So yeah, I'm gonna give you the pattern and do it in the best way you can. It's challenging, I know. Let's start this one up. Let's look at the pattern that goes for E minor. Slowly, it goes like this. All right, so that is, if you hold the E minor as it is, and add the third fret on the G, sorry, E string. So that will be second fret on A, second fret on D, and third fret on E down here. So with that, you can play this, open E, then open G, then second D. And actually you will not have to hold this on the second A. My bad here, I'm just used to hold that because it belongs to the E minor chord. But it's actually enough to just hold the second D string and third E string. That's enough. So again, let's start all over. Open E string in the bass. Open G. Second D. And third E. Okay. Then second D. Open G and back to second D. Now we're about half in into this E minor part. So uh, just a recap so far. Open E, open G, second D, third E, second D, open G, and second D. Then it continues with open B, open E in the bass, open G, second D, and third E. Then it's a kind of a short break there. And then it comes these final three notes. Second on A. Here you need to kind of recuperate the grip and go up to this. So you take everything up one string, you can say, from this grip to this grip. So second A, open G, and third B. And that's it. This is kind of the hardest part because it's the longest part, okay? So that was the E minor. I'm going to take you through this slowly, very slow, so you will hear and understand what we're playing. Let's go. And in some faster tempo, sounds like this. All right, that's the E minor part. Let's go over to the C part. From now on, you will play these patterns, shorter patterns for two rounds. So that is why it's easier. You learn the pattern and you play it twice. So now let's look at the C part. Sounds like this slowly. Right? You play for two rounds. So 
that will be enough to just hold a third fret on the A string. And with that, you're going to play third A, open G, back to third A, open E, top string, then third A, and then open E, open G, open E. That's it. So just to summarize this slowly, it goes like this, third A, open G, third A, open E, third A, open E, open G, open E. And with some standard tempo or faster tempo, it goes like this. Yeah, so two rounds of that. And perhaps that is how you have to practice, take part by part and just learn the notes and then try to speed it up slowly. So you'll learn it and you will have it like a muscle memory in your hand, okay? That's the kind of half of the song now, E minor and C parts. Let's go over to the G. This part sounds like this slowly. all right so that's how it sounds uh, here it's just enough to hold the third fret on the e string now so you go from the c just that and go up to g like this all right so third on e you will start with that note so third e then open b then open D, then open B, then open B again, open D, and open G. And that's it. You play this for two rounds. So again, third E, open B, open D, open B, then open B again, open D, and open G slowly like this for two rounds and with some faster tempo and so on and that was too fast all right so somewhere in between the first and the second uh, demonstration there all right so that was the g part and then we have the f sharp thing here uh, slowly it goes like this all right so for two rounds again so we're gonna have this group now second fret on the e string in the bass and then second fret on the G string. And with that, we're gonna play second E, second G, open D, open B. Then second E, second G, second E again, and then you end with open D. So that is the pattern here. So second E, second G open D open B second E second G second E and open D and it sounds like this slowly for two rounds and a little bit faster like this And that is actually how you play this song here from the beginning till the end. I'm gonna take you through this one round here a little bit slower so we really hear how it sounds together in a context here. So let's go.
So there you have a beautiful song. Jay Wheeler, Zambrano, Di Cello. So yeah, I hope this was uh, helpful for you. And if it was, please thumb up this. And I hope to see you here back on Gordon Guitar. Till there, that time. <laughs> okay, guys, play tuned.